So if this is the uh, shoulder muscle and this is the bicep, it is this line from this point that comes down like that. And it actually goes like this. Finding that line and this line that comes out of it, right? Man, you, do, you could do so much damage with this, right? If you could just understand the relationship of these lines. And that kind of uh, relationship exists on several places in the human form. So the other one is like on the forearm. So if you draw a downshot of the arm, There's a muscle that runs across from the uh, back side of the arm. So it goes from the back to the fore and it allows you to do this kind of thing. It's a, it's a side connector muscle because it's, it's just like this. It basically, it's a muscle that sits over that forearm and then two other smaller muscles basically induct underneath. So if this is the top muscle, they basically come out. This muscle like kind of lays on top and rolls over it. So if you can hit that line, right it just says so much and um, it's just a powerful line to basically nail on a figure okay so if you can do this you can do this and they're all around the human body I mean you go to the back right where the shoulder blades are it's uh, I think it's right uh, is it like that I have to move this over here anyway so it exists on the, on the back. I have to look at the back. You just do Y's. The back is all about Y's, right? You do your back, spine, neck, Y, 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 something like that. Okay, so we're going to do the ear real quick. Just... Okay. The shoulder blades like that. There we go. There's the shoulder blade, and then same thing. There's a uh, dip here, so the shadow gets longer there. So this is the back of the ears. How does that forearm muscle connect to the bicep and tricep? Uh, well, let's see. Tricep is three muscles, one, two, three. Bicep is two muscles, one, two. Wait, no, this is the shoulder muscle, sorry. But there's three sections. One, two, three. I think it comes out right there. I don't know the names of the muscles. The, the elbow pops out there. So if you, if you had to flay off the skin, that's kind of what you'd end up with. Every muscle kind of has a point and then an induction where it kind of anchors to the bone with a ligament or tendon, I think. What, whatever the technical term is. Okay, so the ears. Uh, I do the same ear. Some people have uh, the bottom earlobes. I have none. Right? This is the more streamlined, evolved look for ears. Some people have like the the droopy attachments, whatever. <laughs> um, okay.
That's easy enough, right? And then, uh, okay. Hmm. There's a ridge, and it goes all the way around. I draw like a little backward C, and that little cave has a shadow, casts a shadow there, and then it has a brother that's bigger, and it goes like that. And he has a little shadow underneath here. And then last, this relative, if I draw a D, and then that's where the ear canal like, it's in there. And you can put the uh, ear lobe there. And then the shadow of the ear. Here's the hair. Draw the jaw. And you're out. But no one looks at ears. You could just draw this. I, I doubt anyone would know. So the ear, uh, to uh, recap, Okay, you put a little bit of a hook there, but basically something there, like that. If you wanted to, you can go there. It depends on how complicated, I mean, there's a lot of different elements that go on, but you can do just like an ear that has a, a dot there, and an ear canal here, and maybe a line like that. They're weird if you look at them too long. I mean, they're definitely freaky, so do not... You know, it's like the sun during uh, an eclipse. You don't want to look too much because it will um, it will gross you out.